guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing this pumpkin for Halloween as a colour along and uh, this is out of his Phantomorphia book um, I did say that I was thinking about doing this on one of my recent videos and then one of my subscribers said yeah please do a colour along and share it with us so we're going to get started today and what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to go in with a white Posca pan and I'm going to go over the black bits inside here because I want to make it look like it's glowing and um, like there's a candle light in there and it's glowing through so this is the first step that we're going to do okay guys so that's all the white Posca that I've put in um, on the eyes the nose and the mouth so now what I'm going to do I'm going to use the Brute, Fer Brute Ferner pencils and I'm going to take number 004 um, which is the lightest orange that I can find and what I'm going to do is just go over the whole of the pumpkin and give it a base of orange but I'm just going to do this um, lightly just all over and then hopefully by the time we finish this white will be dry so I'm going to avoid these inside eye areas because I'm, I'm going to do something different with them so I'm just going to start off on the actual outside of the pumpkin Um, now these are dry, I'm going to go in with the eyes. I'm going to go in with 001, so this is the lightest yellow that I could see. And what I'm going to do is just with really light pressure, I'm just going to go over the edges of this white. Hopefully this will show up on camera. white patch there in the middle and I'm going to go in with 002 which is a little bit of a more of a yellowy yellow than a cream I suppose the first one was more creamy and again I'm just going to go over this with light pressure I'm concentrating on the edges that I've got is 006 so this is more of um, like a blood orange colour so I'm going to use this just to deepen up the very edges and again just really light pressure on this because I don't want to scratch the Posca pen off from underneath Literally just adding tiny little hints of colour. And then I'm going to go back in with our lightest yellow, which was 001. with 002 which is the bit more yellowy of the two and then with 006 I'm going to go in right around the edges so literally here to darken this up Thank you. 
And then I'm going to go over that with 002. And then back in with 006 and I'm going to do light pressure all over the inside bit of the eye. So this would be where the pumpkin's been carved. And again, I'm going to go over that with 002. with 006 and I'm going to deepen up the edges Came with 002 and just blend this out under here. Okay, so for the mouth, I think the white would just be a tiny bit here in the middle. So that's where I'm going to leave it white. So I'm going to go in with 001 and I'm just going to add some colour to the edges. Okay, then we're going to go over that with 002, darken it up a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go in with 006 and darken this up. I'm just going to bring this down because I think the white's possibly too far down and just go over this red as well. And then I'm going to go back in with double O two and darken that up. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing the mouth and then I'll come back to you once it's finished. So I'll see you in a second. And then I'm just going to start to lightly fill this in so that we can get an idea of what the glow is looking like.
and then going over that with 002. And then back in with 006. And there we go. And I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around. Next I'm going to take 005 and for this I'm going to put in the um, structure of the pumpkin so where it would curve round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this line here from the top because this is going to give us an idea of where they would be. So for the shading I'm going to go in with 104 and this is like a dark purpley brown colour and I'm going to place the shading around the edges of the bits that are glowing to try and make that stand out a bit more. So I'm just going to go in with light pressure on this again. Okay, and then I'm going to do some shading at the top here as well because this would be darker.
using 104, I'm going to go in and I'm going to darken up around these orange lines here because I want these orange lines to stand out. So I'm just going to go along the edge of them. Okay, so I'm quite happy with all the placement there, so I'm going to go in and darken this up. Okay, then I'm going to go in with 004 and I'm going to fill in the orange part. Okay guys, so you can see what I'm doing here, just filling it in and going over the purple as well. So I'm going to continue and finish this off and then I'll come back once it's done. 